think every everyone is new why is it not everyone a uh, few of them from last session have joined uh, okay okay no problem so i have prepared a ppt uh, on emotional intelligence i have picked up uh, few ex extra extracts from uh, harvard's website and few videos i have tried to make it interesting and at any point of time if you get bored or if you think that the content is uh, too much uh, you can uh, safely leave tumhe na ha guys can you turn on the now chat chalenge yeah please mute all of you okay so let's start mm. Oh, I'll not go in the presentation mode. Something. I'll do it like this only. Okay. So uh, our topic for today is emotional intelligence, right? And uh, before we talk about emotional intelligence, our actual topic, uh, I would like to go over uh, what are emotions. So although this is a very common word, emotion, but I would like to cover this. so uh, you might find the language uh, which is very uh, <laughs> taken from somewhere so that's true i haven't written this all on the so on my own but i yes i have compiled it so i'll try to read and also explain so when we talk about an emotion so definition of an emotion is it's a complex psychological state that involves uh, three distinct components so we have three kinds of uh, experiences uh, which we define as an emotion so first is a subjective like the feelings personal feelings which we get like happiness sadness anger excitement uh, physiological response like uh, if something happens uh, we have some reactions which we experience in our body like physical reactions which we feel like racing heart butterflies in the stomach sweating right then there is third category behavioral response this is the way where we express our emotion and to other people like through either through our facial expressions body language or actions so if i tell you the category uh, first and the last is are something with that are quite visible if someone looks at you they are able to uh, they are able to judge or uh, what kind of emotion you might be facing at that point of time right and these emotions can also be categorized into two part two categories again like type based on type so it's positive emotion and negative emotion just give me a minute okay so positive okay, is like yeah shweta are you sharing the screen because it's not visible oh sorry sorry i did i stop sharing the screen yeah now i am sharing sorry it's visible now yes yes it's visible yes ma'am okay okay thank you so uh when we talk about positive emotions they are like joy love excitement gratitude negative emotions include fear anger sadness frustration and all of these emotions uh, they play a lot of a lot of role in the decision making so they play uh, whenever we we are going through any emotion the decision we we make depends actually on that emotion so emotions play a significant role in decisions we make influencing how we perceive risk opportunities and interaction with others so this is just a basic uh, picture which is showing showing various emotions which we experience now let's come to our topic what is what is emotional intelligence so emotional intelligence is the capability or the able ability to understand and manage your own emotions as well as uh, recognize and influence the emotions of people around you so not only my, my own emotions i will also be concerned suppose in this session if i tell about you if we, if you all had your cameras on i could make a try to make out the emotions that you guys are going through okay so like for me um, i don't know 
the emotion could be out of these if i tell you it could be maybe um, butterflies in the stomach because i am pre presenting it's a physiological uh, response then there could be happiness that i am doing something which is uh, different for for means i something which i wanted to do so it's kind of this where we can judge based on looking at uh, a person which is interacting with us although it's more uh, these emotions you will be more able to judge if you meet a person physically but on video calls also we are able to judge based on what we see so i would like to share a video on what is emotional intelligence just give me a minute i'll try to play it hmm. so sharing a video with so are you able to hear the sound of this no oh, ma'am the sound is no? not I'll have to share the sound. How will I share? Just a second. Okay, Ashwath, uh, like from the sharing option, there is an uh, option of include sound. Yeah, yeah, I selected that. Okay, so now just tell me if you, you are able to. Okay. If you're an aspiring leader or manager, there's an important element you need to consider when evaluating your knowledge and skills, emotional intelligence. Also known as emotional quotient or EQ, emotional intelligence is the ability to understand and manage your emotions and those of the people around you. Emotional intelligence is typically divided into four competencies, self-awareness, self-management, social awareness, and relationship management. Self-awareness is at emotional intelligence's core. It's your ability to not only understand your strengths and weaknesses, but recognize your emotions and how they affect you and your team. Self-management is your capacity to manage your emotions, particularly in stressful situations, and maintain a positive outlook despite setbacks. Social awareness is your aptitude for recognizing others' emotions and organizational dynamics. Those who excel in social awareness practice empathy. They strive to understand colleagues' feelings and perspectives so they can be better communicators and collaborators. Relationship management is your capability to resolve conflict and influence, coach, and mentor others. It requires both self and social awareness and channeling them into interactions. Building your emotional intelligence helps you grow as a leader and motivate and coach colleagues more effectively. In turn, you can advance your career and organization. Do you want to improve your emotional intelligence? Explore our online course, Leadership Principles. Okay, so this was a short video on emotional intelligence. The four aspects which we covered in this video, I'll be going through them in the detail. So... This is a slide which is just telling uh, what are those four aspects. So in these four aspects, uh, it's about us, it's about me, and it's about the person with whom I am at present. So self uh, is, first of all, I need to be self-aware what emotion I'm going through, what is the present emotion which I'm feeling. Next is self-management, how I manage that emotion and how how I give a response rather than a reaction. Then for others, it's social awareness, like identifying the emotions of people with whom we are interacting. And then the relationship management, how well you manage that uh, emotion of other person and manage the relationship. So let's go into the detail of this. So first of all is the self-awareness. So before we try and do something for others we have to first work on ourselves right so that's the that's a fact which is a global fact that you have the control on only you not on anyone else right so uh, self awareness is it's the core so it's the core because if you are not aware of yourself you cannot achieve the other steps it's the first step 
So self-awareness is the core of everything. It describes your ability to not only understand your strengths and weaknesses, but to recognize your emotions and their effect on you and your team performance. Self-awareness is having a clear understanding of your strengths, limitations, emotions, beliefs, and motivations. Leaders who are adept at recognizing and managing their emotions are better equipped to perceive others' feelings and know how to motivate other employees. So, uh, first of all, if you are able to know that what emotions I am going through, what are my strengths, what are my weaknesses, then uh, you are self aware and you could relate those things on others also so this is this is the basic core of uh, emotional intelligence self awareness next i move to self management now suppose i am in a situation where i am having suppose anger right now how do i express my anger that is self management there could be uh, various ways where people express their anger some shout some cry uh some move away from that place right there may be different ways where people express their emotions self management is it refers the ability to manage your emotions particularly in stressful situations and maintain a positive outlook despite uh, setbacks leaders who lack self management tend to react and have a harder time keeping their impulses in check a reaction is automatic so we know that law every action has an equal and opposite reaction right but uh, in terms of emotions uh, a reaction is always not good right so the more in tune you are with your emotional intelligence however the easier you can make the transition from reaction to response it is very important to pause breathe collect yourself and do whatever it takes to manage your emotions whether that means taking a walk calling a friend or maybe uh, or what you can do is uh, postpone it a little bit give it a little time before you respond and uh, doing that you can do it more appropriately and intentionally okay so next once we are we have worked on self Okay, so this slide. So this is a slide where uh, I have listed some of the practices we can do for self-regulation. Uh, I'm not saying that I am training on this, so I'm very good at this. I even I am learning these things. Okay, so if prone to an emotional outburst or overreacting, there are tactics you can use to uh, improve your self-regulation. Pause before responding. So. generally what we do is we give immediate reactions so we should just give a pause not a big, big pause it maybe 20 second pause before you respond right so give yourself time to stop and think before immediately replying this could be as simple as taking a deep breath allowing for a 20 second pause so that the feelings which have just immediately rushed into my mind they get a little space and i am able to think what happens is if i react i am not thinking before reacting i am just reacting take a step back sometimes you might need to leave the room that's okay it's often often better to take a walk drink some water call a friend or or it's rather better than then rather than rather sending an email or lashing out at someone okay third is you recognize your emotion and you jot it down means you could write what happened with me what am i feeling what caused it you will likely be able to start identifying identifying the pat, uh, patterns which trigger you right so next time if a similar situation comes i think you will be able to respond better although it's quite difficult but yes uh, if we work on ourselves we will be able to do that right next is uh, social awareness now once you have you are means it's not like you will first work on yourself then you will move on to others it's a ongoing process you are working on yourself and you are also at the same time interacting with people so in case of social awareness it's important to understand and manage your emotions and you also need to know how to read a room social awareness describes our ability to recognize others emotions and the dynamics they play in 
our organizations so leaders who excel in social awareness they practice empathy empathy is understanding others feelings and responding so they strive to understand their colleagues feelings perspectives which enable them to communicate and collaborate more effectively with the peers empathy is capability of understanding another person's experiences and emotions and has been ranked as a top leadership skill by actively listening to your employees and taking the time to understand their wants and needs you can boost engagement build trust and more effectively coach them through challenges so this is coaching and all is more in terms of leaders right the people who are leading the teams but right now i think in case of you, you people uh, it's more of the people suppose you are dealing with your team suppose if you are the team leader then yes it will also apply to you the more and more your team feels appreciated the more invested they'll be and in turn it will lead to higher morale and stronger company culture the last part of it it is relationship management so when we talk about relationship management is this ability to influence others coach or mentor others theek okay? hai so in this terms motivation refers to our ability to inspire both self motivation as well as others here it's essential to lead by example self motivated leaders care more about hitting organizational milestones than monetary awards they set goals take initiatives rise to the challenge and stay optimistic during turbulent times the more positive you are the more confident your team will feel so if the team has a positive leader who is uh, who is very positive in terms of even if there is a crisis and who is taking uh, some uh, way to uh, handle the crisis the team feels motivated your inherent motivation will infuse the organization and it will have a better understanding of how to empower the employees now i'll uh, move on to a video again this is this is uh, telling how active listening uh active listening is a skill uh which uh which we need to develop to strengthen my emotional intelligence so for active listening i have a video to share it's a short video let's watch it active listening the act of fully hearing and comprehending the meaning of what someone else is saying avoid getting distracted by your own thoughts Focus on the speaker and topic instead. Try not to interrupt the other person. Let them finish and then respond. Use door openers. These are phrases that show you're interested and keep the other person talking. show that you're listening with body language if appropriate take notes during important conversations paraphrase what others have said to make sure you're both on the same page thanks for listening okay so in this audience uh, how to how should i judge whether there is active listening or not <laughs> nobody has their camera switched on maybe you can raise your hands if everybody is actively listening to me so mohit is listening who else yes ma'am we are listening to you mohit uh, and karan uh arif janvi has a video on so i i am assuming she is listening uh who else <laughs> yash bildin bildin was there last time also i remember gorav glorious green 
Arif is listening. Okay, thank you so much for showing me that you are actively listening. So it gave me a boost. It uh, triggered my happy emotion. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so uh, now I'll tell you a few more tips uh, how to uh, increase or strengthen the emotional intelligence skills. First of all, is journaling. Uh, Journaling is recording and reflecting daily on how, what emotions in, influenced you, what decision you uh, took, your interactions, your meetings. Generally, diary writing. Does do anybody of you do does a diary writing? Jan, yes, you do. You do? Yeah, that's great because I don't do it. My daughter does it, Me. but I don't do it. Me also. That's great. Okay, it's great. So this uh, this really helps uh, if you are going through something or if even if you're not going, if you're recording it, I think you're reflecting over it, right? Then there is undergoing a 360 assessment. I don't know how much this is applicable to you guys, uh, but it's applicable for people like us who are working with a team who have juniors, seniors, uh, peers, right? So undergoing 360 assessment is we seek feedback from everyone. And based on that feedback, we conduct a self-assessment to see where are the gaps. Suppose I'm doing X and a person is analyzing that to be Y, or I'm speaking X, I'm emoting X, and he is getting an emotion Y. So there is some gap in what I'm saying, right? So doing this 360 feed, the degree feedback helps in that. Third is active listening that you already uh, saw in the video. It's hiding distractions, focusing on what the speaker is saying, and also showing how you're engaged using nonverbal cues. Then uh, fourth is paying attention to your emotions, uh, reflecting on what prompted a strong emotion response and why, why so you can do better. So I'll tell you more on this. This is very, very important. So paying attention to your emotions is uh, in our daily life, uh, most of the time, in 24 hours, I think uh, it's very less uh, or maybe not even daily, you get a situation where you are very stressful and you react, suddenly react, right? There is something which you didn't expect. It generally happens when you don't expect things and you react. So the way you re reacted, you can pay attention to that and you can self analyze what I did, was it good? Maybe people start giving you feedback around that, but nobody can judge it better than you or your own self. So you can judge yourself and it's also linked to journaling, I would say. Both of these are linked. Then the fifth part is take an online course or training. So you, maybe you can take a training and enhance your emotional intelligence. But I would say even if you go through a training, uh, like this is just an introduction to the topic, right? I'm not going to cover each and every emotion. Like I'm not going to cover how to manage your anger, how to express your, uh, suppose you are embarrassed, how to uh, give a response in that case. That is That comes more uh, when you keep practicing those skills, right? Now, one of the topics which we are uh, not uh, topics, I would say one of the best part of uh, awareness about other people's uh, people is empathy. So empathy is a very Im important uh, term in terms of emotional intelligence. Let's watch a wonderful story uh, which tells you what what is empathy. A shop owner. A shop owner once placed a sign above his door that said, Puppies for sale. Signs like this always have a way of attracting young children. And to no surprise, a boy saw the sign and approached the owner. The boy asked, How much are you going to sell the puppies for? The owner replied, Anywhere from $30 to $50. The little boy pulled out some change from his pocket. He said, I have $2. Can I please have a look at them? The shop owner smiled and showed him the puppies. Down the aisle of his shop, he saw five cute puppies. But one puppy was lagging behind. Immediately, the little boy signaled out the lagging limping puppy and said, What's wrong with that little dog? 
the shop owner explained that the veterinary doctor had examined the little puppy and had discovered it didn't have a hip socket that's why it would always limp the little boy became excited he said that is the puppy i want to buy the shop owner said no you don't want to buy that little dog if you really want him i'll just give him to you the little boy got quite upset he looked straight into the owner's eyes pointing his finger and said i don't want you to give him to me that little dog is worth every bit as much as all the other dogs and i'll pay full price in fact i'll give you 2 dollars now and 50 cents a month until i have him paid for the shop owner countered you really don't want to buy this little dog he will never be able to run and jump and play with you like the other puppies and the little boy reached down rolled up his pants and revealed a badly twisted crippled leg supported by a big metal brace and he looked up at the shop owner and said well i don't run so well myself and the little puppy will need someone who understands okay so i hope you like this story and this story was just uh, giving us an example of what empathy is so empathy is uh, trying to understand others emotions something which the other other person might not be even be expressing but not uh, means being empath uh, empathetic is a very important quality i think okay so the next part is how can emotional intelligence make leaders more effective so the le- the leaders set the tone of their organization so if they lack emotional intelligence it could have more far reaching consequences consequences it might re- uh, result in lower empl- employee engagement and a higher turnover rate when we say low employee engagement is the people will not be able to connect with that leader while you might excel at your job technically but if you are not able uh, able to communicate effectively with your team or collaborate with them then those technical skills will get overlooked emotional intelligence can enhance your ability to manage interpersonal relationships as well it's not applicable only in your workspace it's applicable at your home at every place which is crucial for fostering positive team dynamics empathy and effective collaboration okay so do you have any questions maybe i'll first go to the questions before quiz i have a little quiz it might be very uh, easy for you guys but maybe any question or chalo let's go to the quiz first so this is a quiz uh, i have kept three four four five questions maybe you guys can answer which of the following is not a component of emotional intelligence self awareness self regulation motivation iq anybody with the answers no one uh iq mohit you're right mohit yes it's iq okay why uh, so these three i already covered so i i am i'm getting to know that people have not heard anything <laughs> that doesn't matter why is emotional intelligence important for entrepreneurs i think this question is important for you guys it helps them make faster decisions it helps in managing teams building relationships and navigating uncertainty it helps in writing business plans it's not important for entrepreneurs which answer do you Ma'am, think one, the answer is b yeah correct uh, arif who yes, gives the answer okay yes ma'am great arif. okay great um i have kept quite easy questions i asked my daughter to solve she said what kind of quiz is this mamma <laughs> okay <laughs> which of the following is an example of practicing empathy 
ignoring how others feel to focus on business goals understanding your team's emotions and responding to their concerns only focusing on your emotions making decisions without considering the team's input ma'am answer is b yeah correct okay what can you do to improve your emotional intelligence first first of all avoid stressful situations second practice mindfulness and seek feedback third ignore emotions and focus on logic uh, fourth multitask to increase productivity yes who said three b anybody said c okay ma'am so, yes. uh, the answer is c i think ignore uh, emotions and focus on logic uh if you are ignoring the emotions then how is it emotional intelligence <laughs> you have yeah. to be intelligent about the emotions if you ignore them how will you be intelligent uh, it was rs who was who, who gave the answer sir yes ma'am it's me uh rs so if you ignore the emotions then uh, you which uh, okay let me go back to this circle So if you are ignoring the emotions, then uh, what part of this you are missing in this uh, diagram? If you are ignoring, you are missing the social awareness, right? And also yes. the relationship management. So you are not completing the circle. Uh, okay. Uh, so the answer should be practice mind mindfulness and seek feedback. So when we say mindfulness is uh, whatever you are doing, you do it mindfully. So to do something mindfully, uh, whenever a stressful situation arrives, you need to pause, think, and then respond. Right. Last, uh, emotion intelligence only involves understanding your own emotions. Is it true or false? it's false okay it's false yeah it's false okay so i have covered the content which i had uh, planned for and uh, i think we took around 30 35 minutes so any questions we can go through the questions i can stop sharing my screen If you have any questions, we can go through them. Otherwise, we can end the session, as you say. No, my mic is off. Maybe your mic, your mic is off. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, any questions, anyone? Okay, Mohit. Some people have tendency to bottle up in emotions. How to? Can you elaborate your question? So, is it is this question in self awareness or in uh, social awareness? Means you are talking about yourself. Or maybe a person himself, or about the person who is interact self. Okay, self. so so when you say bottle up emotions, is that uh, you're not telling anyone, right? You're not expressing them, is it? Yes. Okay. so the first of all when we talk about bottling up emotions uh, again i i showed you the slide right uh, there is a uh, see if you are not able to express those emotions to anyone you have a diary you can do journal journaling right uh, mohit so journaling is a good way where you can record your emotions and you can reflect on them so when you talk talk about bottling up of emotions now it totally depends on uh, these i i am uh, assuming are you talk asking about negative emotions or even positive like anger yeah negative emotions. yeah so ne for negative emotions see when we talk about uh, uh, when i when i talked about uh, self awareness that there was a second part to it 
सेल्फ मैनेजमेंट सो इन टर्म्स ऑफ सेल्फ मैनेजमेंट बॉटलिंग अप ऑफ इमोशंस इज नॉट व्हाट वी वांट वी वांट दैट दोज इमोशंस शुड नॉट गवर्न द रिएक्शंस व्हिच वी गिव वी नीड टू रिस्पॉन्ड सो सपोज देयर इज अ सिचुएशन वेयर यू हैव एन एंगर बिकॉज ऑफ सम वन सपोज यू आर एंग्री ऑन सम वन राइट एंड यू आर नॉट एक्सप्रेसिंग इट so you you don't need to express it in a way that that person is offended you need to cool down and then you need to talk to that person not expressing at all will not help at all mohit you have to tell that person but you have to be very calm polite in what what you say because what happens is when we are in anger we generally tend to shout scream right we offend the person so much that that person is not ready to listen to what you are saying so first of all uh, if you have that if anybody has a ten- tendency to bottle up don't bottle them up uh, the, uh, understand that emotion and talk to that person once you are you have cooled down think about it and talk and solve the problem don't keep don't keep that problem hanging around otherwise it will keep troubling you and if suppose i'll also tell you suppose this emotion is with someone who is senior to you like uh, any of your parents your elder sibling or maybe boss so it's not that you don't need to express it you need to talk to them that this is a uh, thing which is happening to me and it is uh, giving me a problem you, you can you need to explain did i answer your question okay any other questions no this is a very good audience so akhilesh i'm done <laughs> thank you so much shweta for delivering your thoughts on emotional intelligence guys if you have any question we have still 15 minutes you can ask <laughs> and i was quite quick i thought i'll be i'll be able to cover that i created a long ppt this time i took videos also even i am learning you see <laughs> it's okay it's okay shweta <laughs> guys anyone amit gaurav lipakshi satakshi arif mohit karan i think a few people left also yeah so maybe uh, uh, akilesh i think we can uh, end the meeting here and thank you all Shushan. for joining and thank you for thank giving you, me Shita. this opportunity all the thank best you, for your Shita. projects you. projects and do well okay thank you bye thank you shweta shweta uh, uh, i'll share you the recordings or uh, uh, you can also download it from the team chats right so it will be there so i don't i'm not able to uh, this team chat i am not able to last time also i could not access it did you share it uh okay uh, i'll share it to you uh, both the